find the fixed points and the normal form of bilinear transformation w equal to 3z minus 4 over z minus 1. Now to get the fixed points we know that we have to put w equal to z over here. So writing this as z equal to 3z minus 4 over z minus 1. And then just cross multiply we get z square minus z equal to 3z minus 4. That gives us z square minus 4z plus 4 is equal to 0. And making this as a perfect square, we get z minus 2 whole square is equal to 0. So from here, we get z equal to 2 as the only fixed point. So whenever we get only one fixed point, the transformation is parabolic. So hence, z equal to 2 is the only fixed point and the transformation is parabolic. Fine. Okay. Now to get the normal form, just take the original transformation as w equal to 3z minus 4 over z minus 1. And we know that for parabolic transformation, the transformation is 1 over w minus alpha equal to 1 over z minus alpha plus lambda, where this alpha is the fixed point. So we require the factors as w minus, here in this case the fixed point is 2. So we require the factors as w minus 2 or z minus 2 in this equation, right? So let's cross multiply this first. We get wz minus w equal to 3z minus 4. Let's obtain the product first w minus 2 into z minus 2. For this product, we need the terms wz minus 2w minus 2z plus 4, right? wz we are having and negative 4 if taken to the other side, we get this plus 4 also. So this term and this term we are already having. So this implies wz minus and taking this also w and taking 3z minus 4 also to the other side, minus 3z plus 4 is equal to 0. Now what is required? The remaining term minus 2w and minus 2z to get this product, right? These two terms are required. So let me add and subtract these two terms over here. So I'm adding and subtracting these two terms. So this is minus 2z plus 2z, right? So this implies now this term and this term and this plus 4 and minus 2z. This gives us w minus 2 into z minus 2, right? And then the remaining terms, this 2w minus w is w and this 2z minus 3z is minus z equal to 0. So now to get the factor as w minus 2 again for this. So I'm again adding and subtracting 2. So minus 2 plus 2 minus z equal to 0. So from here I can get the factor again w minus 2. And from here if I take minus common I get z minus 2 equal to 0. Now, if I divide w minus 2 into z minus 2 all over, I get the transformation like this, right? So, let's divide w minus 2 into z minus 2 all over. We get 1 plus 1 over z minus 2 and then minus 1 over w minus 2. 1 over w minus 2 equal to 0. So taking this to the other side, I get 1 over w minus 2 minus 1 over z minus 2 equal to 1, which is the required normal form, yes? Or you can also take this as 1 over w minus 2 equal to 1 over z minus 2 plus 1, where lambda is equal to 1 over here. So this is the required normal form. Okay, stay blessed.